you know I like to do the dress up part for my inspired by videos but this time was very hard because I did not have a beaded headband but then I remembered see I bought this one a few years ago thinking it was a necklace it isn't it goes on your head and um, yeah I don't really wear feathered headbands to the office but it's perfect for now Hi everyone and welcome back to Linda Di Praloca. Today is another Inspired by video and I wanted to share with you my recreation of the Lancome Summer Swing 2017 collection. As with many collections it's all about the greens and the blues and the turquoise but yeah I really like the look and for the sake of the length of this video I'm going to quickly speed up what I'm doing and talk you through because nobody needs to see me do my face for ages. Um, I'm simply using a Kiko Milano color correcting concealer wheel and applying some lavender shade as a highlight all over the center of my face. As you can see this gives a lovely brightening effect on the center of my face and though it looks a little crazy right now once I start applying the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Stay in Place makeup, you will see that it gives a subtle lift to the inner part of the face without being too obvious. Because this is a summer tutorial, I don't think that there is a heavy contour going on, at least not a visible one. Her brows are really natural, so I'm just going to fill in a little with an essence pencil from the drugstore. I'm going to let that sit, quickly prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to use a transition shade. This is All Races, a matte shade by MAC. And I'm going to put that above the crease, not in the crease, but above. And then I'm switching to a fluffy brush and MAC Saffron. And apply that one pretty much all over my mobile lid. There is kind of a burnt orange theme paired with blue throughout these collections this year. But I have to say I really like it and it probably makes transitioning to fall easier. You don't really catch much of this burnt orange. It's just a hint right beneath the crease when she looks straight at you. Now the main part. The colorful eyeliner. And I'm going to use MAC Midnight Blues. I think it's discontinued and draw a pretty thick line, I have to grab my mirror for that, on my upper lash line. Why is the second eye always harder to do? Which one is your favorite eye? And the liner goes on the lower lash line as well, connecting from the outer corner, but it's not as thick and it just only goes halfway into, halfway along. To intensify the blue tone, I'm going in with Birds and Berries. It is a Velux Pearl. Add what is supposed to be a liner brush by Zoeva, but it's way too thick to be a liner brush. And just dust that one on top of my eyeliner for some extra blue sparkle. Or not sparkle, you see um, just uh, some extra blue tones, intensity is probably the right word. And then I'm using a flat shader brush and Shimmer Moss by MAC and take that one on the inner part of my eyes down here for that pop of turquoise she has. Mascara. My current favorite one is the Makeup Forever Smoky Lash Mascara which only took me I think five years to try finally. That's the eyes done. And I'm using an hourglass ambient lighting powder in the color dim light just to set a little along my cheekbones, add some glow because yeah, this foundation is pretty matte and this is a summer look. So you have to have kind of a glow going on there. And because I skipped the contour and yeah, Face looks pretty pale for a summer look. I'm going in with Body Shop Honey Bronze Bronzer in the color 02. And as you can see, it's well loved. It's perfect for me for summer. I can't really tell from the picture what she is wearing because, yeah, you don't really see that much. She has her hair in her face. I'll just assume that she has a bronzy hue 
Finally, for the lips, as you can see, I put some foundation on top of my lips to cancel out my natural color because that's pretty intense. And her lips are nude and sparkly. So I'm going in with a sexy motherfucker from, um, oh, what's it called? Candy Gloss from Soap and Glory. And it is just golden sparkle in a nudie tint. Sticky, sweet. There you go. Now my accessory. And then, yes, because I don't have the long comb thingy, my bronzer will have to do for the posing. It just looks summery and happy. And my microphone's about to die, so I'm going to leave you with this smiling impression of the boho chick I never was. And see you all very soon with another beauty video. Bye!